from this to this. For the past eight weeks, Northern Ireland has been at a standstill after trouble has erupted following City Hall's decision to remove the Union flag from the building. The 3rd of December council meeting at Belfast City Hall was a volatile affair, with arguments between Unionists and Sinn Féin descending into outright insults. So look around this chamber here, you'll see knobs. With much of the emphasis put on the violence that have come with the protests, it is worth noting that the majority of protests, and by extension protesters, have been friendly and respectful of the police. <laughs> the protests and accompanying violence has attracted widespread condemnation from Northern Ireland's key political players. But nothing can justify the violence that has been seen. The attacks on police officers are disgraceful. There have already been well over a hundred arrests made. Unacceptable campaign to save Ulster from sodomy. I'm not saying it's entirely one-sided, but it is. And I'm not saying what side that is. I'm saying, man, you love it. I'm not saying what side it is from. You know the truth, right? But, I mean, for example, I've had people come into my office and say that people from New North Road have been questioning their rap abilities and saying that people in Short Strong aren't good enough at rap. And, and that's disgraceful behaviour. I had one fella say somebody said he was on a coat, wicked throwing things. That's a disgrace. The protests have dominated the local press. This week in the Sunday World. Loyalist ice cream racket exposed. Selling fake flakes to kids. Codename Mr. Whippy was a special branch agent for over 15 years. Don't be IRA club but identified after his mass who's in the attack into his balaclava. Jesus Christ. Also, we get into the mind of a flag protester. Well, the way we live is only 365 days here. Plus, Get your free poster of World Cup hero Jerry Armstrong, signed Big D and Murray Peters. Only in this week's Sunday World. Sponsored by Bremen's Bread. Today's Bread. Today. Plus, the Historical Inquiries team. Yesterday's Murders. Tomorrow. After a night of rioting, protest pinup Jamie Bryson posted this video to his YouTube page. So, I don't need to tell you how dangerous this is. You've got, there's a red brick, right? If that hits a woman or a child, it's going to kill them. If you look here, that's a grey brick. If that hits a woman or a child, it's going to kill them. Earth. You just think that's a piece of string, but I happen to know it's been specially adapted by the residents of Short Strand. If that hits a woman or a child, it's going to kill them. That there is just a beer bottle that I dropped just before we were filming, just slipped out of my hands. I'll get rid of it. So we're here in Doris's house. Doris is a 68 year old grandmother from the New North Road. And due to the fact that debris, bricks, everything we've just shown you has been thrown over the wall, Doris has been forced to barricade up her window and she's missing out on that spectacular view that she once had. Mervyn Mawinney is a community representative in East Belfast. He also runs the website mythloyalist.co.uk and has been featured regularly on local radio phone-ins since the protests began. Yes, so just to confirm then, one men's Union Jack suit, please. Large. Stephen, I, I, I did not say it. No, I did not say it. Stephen, oh, well, if I did say it, I was doing an impression of someone else. So you cannot lay out of my door, all right? And, no, no, do not want to talk to Jerry Kelly. Do, do not. All right, Jerry, here's a call, mate. Bye. Off. Stop talking about m piss. Oh, pip Frank Mitchell. That must not. I actually don't. What am I thinking? Name that. I never have been. I'm on a balance. 
I'm a man of passion, all right? And I believe that, that flag, it, it, it means so much to me, put it that way. It's my culture, it's my identity. I mean, whenever I look into that flag, I see myself reflected. Yes, especially whenever you hold it up against the mirror. I heard from one of our spokespeople that whenever the flag came down, it actually broke a camel's back. I right, love me, me. If you remember, I, I, I was the one that ordered the full Union Jack suit. Aha! Uh -huh. Listen, I think there's been a wee problem with the order. I, uh, I tell you what it is, right? I'm, I'm the Goria. Yeah. I'm the Goria. We protest here about two o'clock. Uh, it's very difficult to promote your identity whenever you're dressed like a f***ing space girl. Oh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Well, let me tell you this. Do you know who Willie Fraser is? He's gonna take an absolute bag out of me. Aye. Will he face her and take the piss out of his leg being outsmarted by a bucket? That the discovery of pork at DNA Donna Trainer, you are looking well today, guys. ...of the meat industry across Ireland. Pork is strictly forbidden under Islamic dietary rules, but traces of it were found in halal pies supplied by a company in Straban, McColgan's Quality Foods. The pies were destined for Muslims in jails in Britain. Italy's win over France has shown the other Six Nations rugby teams that anything is possible. As for Ireland, well, I think they need a little bit of TLC after their weekend match. Here's Austin O'Callaghan. I think Declan Kidney agrees with you, Donna. Battered and bruised even in victory. And the injury list has prompted Ireland to delay naming their team to face England until Friday. Brian O'Driscoll and Craig Gilroy described the win over Wales as one of the most physical games. We leave the final word today to Jamie Bryson. I just want to say to all the Platinsons watching that we need to move forward and we will have our Union flag back at City Hall sooner rather than later. No I'm saying.